The Ukrainian military has accumulated significant drone-related experience and technology during this recent war. Reconnaissance drones fly over the battlefield 24 hours a day, and the Ukrainian military has become highly reliant on drone units, to the extent that they won't advance a single step without the information provided by these units. As a result, Ukraine is emerging as the fastest-growing country in the field of drones. The UK newspaper Telegraph introduced a self-destructing drone called the Krush, one of dozens of combat drones developed purely with Ukrainian technology. Ukrainian artillery officer, Alexei, began developing self-destructing drones in order to fill the gap caused by the lack of precision and long-range weapons since the start of the conflict. The resulting Krush self-destructing drone takes the form of a first-person view, FPV, with relatively simple wings and two propellers mounted at the front, enabling it to search for and engage enemy targets. The front of the drone can carry a payload of up to 3 kilograms, which is five times larger than the US-supported Switchblade 300 portable self-destructing drone. Although the appearance may seem somewhat crude, Alexei claimed through various experiments that it can destroy almost all vehicles used by Russia. He said, it doesn't matter what the drone is made of. This wooden drone was not easily detected by radar, and it is also cost-effective. So far, they have spent around 2,000 euros to produce over 50 prototypes, and the Telegraph reported that they will be deployed to the front lines in the coming weeks. Furthermore, analysis has suggested that Ukraine has developed a new type of underwater drone for attacking Russian naval vessels, in order to be deployed in actual combat. Ukraine's civil military cooperation group Brave One has named this new underwater drone the Toloka TLK-150. It is designed to move smoothly underwater making detection and interception more difficult. The TLK-150 is a small unmanned surface vehicle measuring 2.5 meters in length, with small wings on both sides to maintain balance and a propulsion system with propellers underneath. It also features a mast-like structure on top with cameras and communication devices, allowing it to maintain balance and maneuver underwater. Submarine expert H.I. Sutton described the TLK-150 as a floating torpedo, and analyzed that it has a higher likelihood of sinking the target because the warhead can attack the bottom of the vessel. He further stated, Ukraine is currently at the forefront of naval drone development, and said, although it may have shorter range and slower speed compared to the surface drones previously used, with this drone, the Ukrainian Navy can gain an advantage over Russia. As recently as September of last year, when an unidentified unmanned surface vehicle, USV, was discovered on the beach near the Russian naval base in Sevastopol, its purpose was still shrouded in mystery. However, in October of last year, the Ukrainian military used seven of these surface drones towards the Russian naval base in Sevastopol. While the attacked Russian vessel did not sink, a large explosion was witnessed in the harbor, and some military experts reported that the Russian warship suffered significant damage. Ukraine is the first and only country to use surface drones in actual combat.